Welcome to Linux Mint 21.2. In this video I will show you all news about the latest Linux Mint version which will be released soon. Let's start. At first let us head over to our login screen. In the login screen we can now choose our keyboard layout which is great and also if we type in a password we can click on the new eye on the left side which will reveal the password and we can check if we typed in the correct password which is very cool. So let us log in and get to the next news and this is the software manager from Linux Mint. Let us open it up which has a very long start time in my opinion and we have now a new feature list and a updated layout which makes it more crisp and gives a better overview of cool applications. We have also now a top rated category in which we find very great applications. I use personally many of them and this is great in my opinion. Also I don't know if it was in it. I guess it was in it a long time but I just discovered it some minutes ago and this is the show installed applications option and here I can see all my installed applications which I installed manually or on myself. In this case this is the Linux assistant which is a great helper for everyday tasks in administration and normal usage of the system. If you want you can check out the video of it in the video description. So yeah let us get to our next news and this is the app pics. This is an app in which we can manage our photos and images and I for example loaded in my pictures folder the new Linux Mint backgrounds and you will see that the controls are moved into the title bar. For example if I now select an image you can now access here the tools for example rotate left, rotate right or define a label or tag and comment these pictures. This is great but how you can edit them like in the last version for that you have to double click a file and after this you can head over to the top right here edit file and here you can now adjust the color curves, remove red eyes and other things, also rotate your image again but also crop your image like before which is great. Also we have many improvements in this Pix app for example support for JXL formats or raw formats for example. Also new image tools, improved filters and many more which is which are great news in my opinion. So I close Pix and now let us head over to the look and feel of Linux Mint because this is changed. For example the tooltips are now in the accent color I choose or the default accent color is blue. I yeah quite like it. It is okay for me. Um, I personally like monochrome tooltips so if this could be black I would be very pleased but yeah the Linux Mint team decided it this way. So for example if I open up the file manager um, we have now some other folder icons. There aren't any accent colors here. We only have a clean look of our folders which I like quite much. We have our tooltips. Okay you saw it. We also have new notifications here. Perfect. Which are now in an accent color and have a nice shadow around it. I like them very much the new notifications and we can adjust these colors in our new themes app which got updated because we have a new selector. We can now select between the styles the oldest mint look then a mint look some years ago and then with mint rye our newest look which quite looks good and here with the color we can choose our accent color. For example the default is this one. We have yellow icons and a blue accent which I like very much but you can also choose a Ubuntu like color theme which looks like this one now. Or this one looks a bit like I guess open user I don't know <laughs> and um, yeah I like them very much. And yeah I like them very much. I personally go with the main color here uh, which is the default one and also my appearance is now mixed. So multimedia 
software for example is dark the other software is light but we can also choose between all applications dark and all applications light just choose it to your needs i personally go with this one and if you want to have the old view of the themes then you go to advanced settings and here we have the classic selection of our themes here which is a great improvement in my eyes also some apps lost their monochrome icons for example if i head over to transmission then we have no monochrome icons anymore they are now very colorful i personally don't like them what's your opinion about that but that only is in specific apps for example if we look to our text editor then our monochrome icons are staying so i personally don't check it very well why they changed it in some applications and in some not but i guess these icons are the colorful icons also for example in the text editor and because of that we don't see any difference i guess now let us head over to other news we have now a great gesture support we have a new entry in our menu which is called gestures i open it up and okay i personally don't have any gesture but i have here a picture of these gesture settings you can adjust between swipe pinch and enable some more tweaks which is great for touchpad users or users with a touch screen i'm very excited to try these out on my linux mint laptop with touch support i guess they are very similar to the gnome ones because cinnamon relies on gnome and the linux mint team updated its gnome base with matter in the last version so i think they just enabled it and make it very easy accessible for us which is a great improvement in my opinion we have also some other smaller news for example the menu if i open it up i can now resize it in the uh, corner here for example i can make it very large and very thin i can make it very thick i think you get it i like that very much i personally like smaller menus so this is for me okay now cool feature there are also many other cool new features i put you the link to the list into the video description how do you like the new version of linux mint this release is coming i guess in about two or three weeks i personally like these features very much and in my opinion the linux mint team doesn't reinvent the wheel but is very reliable in these things which they are doing they don't do any experiments which i very like for example we cannot say this about ubuntu or pop os with their new desktop or ubuntu with snap so it is great to see just a good release of linux mint without any big failures or other changes which many users couldn't like linux mint is reliable is stable and that for many years i personally like this approach and can't wait to install this new version onto some of my machines so that was it for this video how do you like the new linux mint version write it me into the comments and see you in the next one bye